Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of a luminous 4K screen paint using Ambulite Rejection Technology Game Times 2, showing you what a true Ambulite Rejection screen looks like. Now keep in mind, look at all the light we have in the environment, but just to add insult to injury, we have two lamps right against the screen, not side by side, right in front of the screen. No lamp shades, nothing whatsoever, and as you can see overhead, just to add more light on top of the screen, we have a 200 watt flood light. Now, I see a lot of demonstrations out there. One of the demonstrations I see, one of the things I see in a lot of demonstrations is the famous lampshade. Now, keep in mind, when you put a lampshade on, on your lamp, it's going to direct the light in two different ways. Well, most of the harsh light, it's going to direct it up and it's going to direct it down. This is what you call true ambient light rejection technology. Now, you can see my lamps do not sit three feet, not even two feet. They're actually one foot away from the screen. Let me show you how close these lamps are to the screen. One foot. And let me show you where the projector is sitting. My projector sits back 13 feet back from the screen. We're about 13 feet back. No fading, no washing out. Like I said, I don't do lampshades. There's no point in doing a lampshade because it blocks a lot of the light. You're really not seeing what the technology can actually do when you actually put a lampshade right against your screen. You're just shielding as much light as possible away from the screen. And there is nowhere in this demonstration for this screen to hide. Wait, we'll go back to that for a minute. I like that one right there. Like when the fish was coming out the water, and go back a little closer up. Like how the water, but the fish was just coming right up out of the water. That's all you can see was just the fish. Look at that. Now you got people out there trying to analyze their videos and trying to figure out how we do what we do. It's just basically just hard work. That's all it is. And you can tell by when they try to figure out how our technology works, how they try to describe what we do, how frustrated, how angry they become. You know, it's a shame, but like I said, it is what it is. When you design good tech, you know what I mean? Either people are gonna love it or they're gonna hate it. See the color's not washing out. Come over here. Anywhere I go, that screen is going to pull up. 
It's not going to wash out. And like I said, take the time before you buy our technology and see how many people are doing demonstrations on our level. Anywhere I move, that screen's gonna pull up. Do it right, or you're not going to do it at all. Now, see, my screen over here, same black technology, I have it right here in my living room. I have condensed lighting. My screen's about 136, 136, 137. I have condensed lighting hitting my screen at all time, and I think I have more, I have LED lights under the screen. So, let me see if I can find a remote control here. I have one laying around, I'm always losing these things. Nope, lost the remote control. I had it around here, I lost it. I misplaced it, I played someplace too. Oh, there it is, there it is. Stuck it over here in the cabinet. What? Right. So there's my overhead lights right there. I usually like to put them in white. Let's uh, brighten them up a little bit. So these are my overhead lights I have here underneath my screen. So these screens are designed to take in a ton of ambient light. And keep in mind, my projector is not short though. We're not using ultra short though projectors over here because if you're doing demonstrations on an ultra short though projector, it's pointless. Your projector is sitting probably about a couple inches from the screen. So that's not really a demonstration right there at all. It's a pointless demonstration. Now keep in mind, my projector sits back 14 feet and eight inches from the screen in a fully lit environment. Come over here. That's the reason why our technology can take in all this light. I'm not gonna basically cheat you by having an ultra short though in every single demonstration. That's just gonna be sitting entirely too close to the screen. Come on now. Now keep in mind, when a projector travels, say you got like 3,000 lumens on your projector. When it travels, if it's hitting this much light, you're gonna lose them. You're gonna lose lumens before it hits the screen. You're gonna lose a couple of lumens before you hit the screen. And keep in mind, before it hits all this, has to travel from here. It's gonna have to go through these lights right here and hit that screen and come back with a beautiful image. That's why the picture comes back faded because number one, the screen can't actually produce enough gain. Number one. Number two, you're gonna lose a ton of lumens. That's why people go for high lumen projectors. We've done this on projectors of actually 2700 lumens. As a matter of fact, I was doing demonstrations in here. I had a few 2700 XGA projectors. And keep in mind, we don't use the same projector over and over again. I change up my projectors quite a bit. This is the reason why our technology can thrive in such a fully lit environment because our screens are designed to take on a ton of ambient light. Is that close enough for you? Look at that. All right, for my time runs out here, I am Kenneth Burr from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using the true ambient light rejection technology game times two. I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for your time. Our amazing screen paint is available on our website with free worldwide shipping. Right up, kissing on the screen. Look at that, kissing the screen. How far are we from the screen? Look at that. I'll take out my lights, just leave these in. This is why I can have LED lights under my screen. Because they're designed, this black technology is designed to take it in. Right against the screen. Can't get any farther without burning the touch of burning the screen. I'll bring it as close as I can. That's how close my lamp is sitting next to the screen. Bring it as close as I can. There we go. As close as I can. Sorry about that. That blinded you. 
I do apologize. Let's sit back here at around 13 feet and show you what we got. I should take it all in. Yeah, because we got a few out there. We got a few out there that basically don't like what we do. But hey, you know, it's a blessing that God gives me the ability to be able to do this. Can't take away what God blesses us to have. You can't take it away. You can try, but you can't take it away. We're blessed to have this. So a lot of people don't realize, I truly believe that my Lord and Savior blessed me with the ability to be able to do this. You know, we do demonstrations that people just don't do. Look at this. More like they're kissing the screen right now. They're kissing the screen. Fully lit environment. My projector sitting back 13 feet. Look at this. Alright, thank you all for your time and God bless.